we are talking about the restorative medicine, the future of medical treatment. Okay, what is the regenerative medicine? I think a lot of you don't know exactly what it means. It means that create new cells, create new cells from your own body. It means we can replace your cells, we can replace your skin, your hair, your bone, your muscle. Ligament, cartilage, not so. Okay. The future of medical treatment is presented in generative medicine. The idea behind generative medicine, the topic dealing with replacing, engineering, and regenerative human cells, your own cells, in order to return normal function to your body, it means we are dealing with your body, and your body is going to treat your body if you are complaining from anything. We are not going to get from outside. Before. Okay, somebody has a, uh, a problem, he has a, a kidney problem, liver problem. We ask for a donate that can match his body. Then you get a, a liver, you can get a kidney, a lung transplantation, now heart transplantation, whatever. Now, in the future, we're going to do this. We're going to take your own cells and mutate and select the cells. We already, I'm already working through this in the last 10 years. I start that in the research unit and the uh, Florida University, that was 10 years ago. Oh, sorry, it's kind of getting old. That was more than 15 years ago. And now, I started here this 10 years. I had a lot of cases till now. So, currently, currently available. Sorry, this is the red light here. Pointer, no pointer. Pointer. Okay, if you see here, the pharmacological assess such most pathological disorder, they have limited therapeutic value to relieve certain disorders like myocardial infarction. Myocardial infarction, we can't replace the valves, we can't replace the, sorry, the, 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 the coronaries. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, if there is a uh, problem in the uh, peripheral vascular disease, an amputated limbs or organ failure that inferior, we can just ask for the donor. This is what we are reading right now, but the future is going to change. Recent studies have launched a revolution replacing damaged human organs by a different appearance to the last few decades. The newly established branch of medicine as, as regenerative medicine aims to enhance nature repair mechanism. Natural repair mechanism. You are the one who's going to regenerate your cells. We will take from you something, we'll bring it back to you. This is going to completely heal and regenerate in your cells. So we don't need for a donor, we don't need for an education or for anything. Like tissue engineering, stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy and mRNA treatment, and this is 3D many organs and the extraction of arti arti artificial tissue using the nanomedication and 3D bioprinters. In the next decades, the revolution, the genetic medicine will be applied based on artificial intelligence and wireless data, soft intelligence, biomedical. All of this is going to depend on two things. The exact diagnosis, the right diagnosis, and the right selection of cells. I'm going to explain this right now. The lower regenerative potential of the human body, hence proper regeneration of dysfunction of lost tissue and organs due to trauma, projected effects, disease, tissue organ transplantation has a major, transplantation has a major conventional option to replacing the disease, okay? In fact, a great number of patients are waiting till they get the time for the organs. Of course, you know this, this one is waiting for a kidney transplantation, this, this one is waiting for liver transplantation, or whatever transplantation, you are in the list waiting for matching, if you are lucky, matching or not, okay? We're going to change all of that is by tissue engineering and to create a new biological tissue or organ substitute for maturation to damage and tissue. Today, we gain knowledge of functional micro-tissue engineering and bio-interface this along with the remarkable advances in polypotential stem cell technology it seems to be instrumental for the development of more realistic micro 3 3D. What I want to say here is this, this thing. Stem cells and genetic cells, the main perfect of stem cells are their ability to differentiate. Look at this, differentiate. 
into any cells type. Let me tell you this, what, what I'm already doing right now in this part, it's very important. Uh, I have uh, a very nice looking lady and she's got a, a face scar, big face, old scar, okay? And she always liked to put her hair to this side to cover the hair, this, this side of the face because of this scar, okay? So what happened that? We get from here stem cells and we select the cells that will regenerate new skin. Yes, it's a, we collect, uh, accordingly, we can collect from the bone marrow, from the superior anterior iliac spine, or we can collect from the fat. And if doctors are here or surgeons, okay, there's a surgeon here, we, we sometimes we prefer fat more than bone marrow, but this is not the subject today, okay? The point that we select and we separate the two things. We can separate the PRP. PRP, this is the platelet rich plasma, or we can separate the stem cells. Through the stem cells, okay, we select the cells that can form the skin. Yes, we can identify and separate these cells. And then what happened that we put it subdermal. I inject this PRP or stem cells underneath this edge of the scar all over the face. She had these injections three times, one month interval. After three months, the lady came and you can see more than 60% of this uh, scar went out. You can see like a new face. Let me tell you something, uh, uh, another one, key light. Some, some, somebody can make an enormous surgery, then the healing process is over healing with keloid formation. The same thing, I inject this keloid from, I said not the keloid, down the edge or the keloid with these stem cells or PRP. What happens is regenerating new cells. So the new cells will, will go on and the keloid will go away. This is what happened. It's, it's a miracle. The best thing that we use it for ladies, this is very important, okay? Of course, the leads are always 18, 18 plus. We know that, okay? So let's talk about men to make it easy. The old man can come to me with the, his, his face looks aging. How is this? You know, he has wrinkles here and the skin is not smooth like anymore. Because of what? Aging. What is aging? Means the, the content of these cells decreased. The, the, the cells are oxidized aging. What we do that? Subdermal, we inject a new PRP. We inject a new stem cells to form new skin. So new skin has a, this new collagen and the collagen is the secret of the new cells to keep you shiny and look young. So when, uh, when we inject that on the face, a new, within three months, a new face will appear brightening and looks younger because it has the normal collagen again normal collagen is in the no, is in the young cells not in the old cells we look old because we lose this thing okay so this is just a part i'm talking about the skin about the colloid about the scar acne vulgaris as well the acne vulgaris we inject uh, underneath the acne vulgaris with this um, stem cells or prp and the good results we got this means that now I'm treating you with your own. Okay, how doctor you say that with my own cells are coming? Yes, you come to my clinic, we put in you on an IV line, we take from you some blood, and then we take the blood for a kind of centrifusion to separate the PRP. The PRP has got the best gross factors and gross things inside it. Growth, yes, okay? So when we get these seeds, it's like seed. When you throw the seed on the ground, give it a few days, one week, you'll find it's little grass. After one month, it's higher. After three months, you can see small trees like that. It's the same when I inject these stem cells or PRP, whatever I, I inject it. For example, if you have a desk, I have a lot of cases, I inject it cervically, and thoracic and lumbar, from the poses, 
for desk, multiple desk for the degenerative diseases. I inject them with this PRP and stem cells. And what happened? The pain diminished more than 90%. No pain. First, second, a uh, lot of cases, again, aging, cause to degenerative changes for the vertebral column. This cells makes like hand brake, stop the car. This is stop aging your vertebral bodies. The vertebral bodies, by aging, you have these genetic changes of arthritis, whatever it is. Okay, these stem cells, when you inject it in this area, as well as the desk, will minimize the deterioration of the case and will prevent the pain circuit from going on. So the pain will decrease, the bone will, again, new cells are coming to form the bone. Again, you are injecting, yes, as I told you, it has transformed into any cell type. This is amazing thing. For example, somebody come to me in my, in my chronic pain clinic and tell me, doctor, I have a severe ne neck pain. I went over there, I had a disc uh, operation, but I still have pain, a lot of pain. I examined him and I found a lot of inflammation in his neck because he has disc and he has facet joint inflammation. So what I do, I inject him PRP or stem cells. What happened? It's, it's like magic. The pain goes away, the inflammation goes away. So these cells actually act as your own anti-inflammatory. So it's the inflammation is going to decrease. W one of the best treatments for p chronic pain is PRP and stem cells, okay? So this is very important that we have a lot of things to do here. We can use it here, these stem cells, whatever you think about it. Okay. So we can use it for cardiovascular, for incisions, for treatment of neurogenital disease, for Alzheimer, of course. Alzheimer, very important use for it. Orthopedic skin rejuvenation, that to, to change the skin to be younger and to be healthy, and for pain treatment. Uh, so cells, the laboratory. We get this, as I mentioned, from the laboratory where we, we select it. Yes, Parkinsonism, type 1 diabetes, Alzheimer, heart, stroke, burn, cancer, whatever, osteoarthritis is very important, the osteoarthritis and vertebral, we have a lot of cases for this. This is good for skin, it's excellent for skin to keep it healthier, you always look young, batting with this, it's collagen. The secret is the new cells has a new collagen, this is the secret. The best thing that are already this, where I came from, from the States, from Florida, where I came from over there, we are the, the very clever, I'm coming from the researcher, um, unit in, uh, in Florida University. We started like this more than 10 years ago when I hope in here, the future that we, we can push us mo more here. Okay, there's two types, the uh, stem cells we had from the umbilical cord and non-umbilical cord, we call it the adult. Uh, the major types, mesenteric and hepatic and the serial cells. Bone marrow is the main cause. We, we get it from the anterior to the spine here, we get this. Uh, this is how we do, okay, the, how we take it, that, we can look at anesthesia, okay, give it a, a needle puncture to the bone and, and we suck this, the, the bone marrow, and look at anesthesia, sometimes under sedation, okay. And then, how we do to do this, just normally we come to my clinic, put an IV, then we return back this IV for you as a stem cells after it's ready, if it is for your general. But for local, of course, for, it's for the spi uh, cervical, I inject the spiker or knee or elbow or shoulder, whatever the place is. Thank you.